Well, welcome back everybody. My name is Joda and in this video I'm going to be covering my top five angles that every beginner should know on the bank map in Rainbow Six Siege. So hold on to your seats. I cannot tell you how many times I died to this first angle the first couple times I played the bank map. And even though it's such a simple angle, I would just purely forget that it's there. So the first angle you can really take from two different ways. The first is you can get on top of the parking garage and look inside and you have a great view at three different places. You have through the three windows straight ahead, you have the executive office and behind that is the CEO office, which if you look through this window right here, you have a perfect angle and can get all the way into that as well. Well, this angle works best for your opponents playing the second floor bomb. It also has some application for if they're playing the teller's office, as well as for catching some rotations on the second floor. It's also worth mentioning that the second way to play this peak is by ziplining on the side of bank and peeking in through the windows. It's a little more dangerous because it is susceptible to runouts by the enemy, uh, but it also works well in some cases. Now the second angle you should know about is behind the armored truck in garage. What I recommend doing is droning out garage first to make sure that you don't have any enemies in there. And once you do that, you're able to look straight on into the lockers room and basement, which allows you to catch any enemies trying to rotate from the CCTV room and allows you to allow your teammates to be able to capture the other side while you hold this one down. It also has some fantastic environmental variables like this pole here that allow you to move up and engage your enemy from a closer range uh, without exposing yourself too much to harm. Now the third angle that's worth mentioning is this hatch right here above CCTV. And the reason it's so important and why it's on this list is because of how many different angles you can actually approach from this one hatch. As you can see here, you can see all the way into the doorway at server. You can also see the doorway leading out to the hallway, as well as you can catch any sort of rotation that they might make uh, in between the lockers room and the CCTV room, which means you have almost complete control over this room, which if you've played Siege enough, you know is a pretty rare thing to find. Now, number four on this list isn't necessarily an angle per se, but rather how to use these graded filing shelves uh, within the, the back archive office um, while you're playing archive and the teller office. What you can actually see here is that my body is completely protected by them, but at the same time, I can see out uh, into the hallway. So what this means is that I'm able to see uh, my opponents coming at me before they can see me, meaning I can get ready to get an angle on them, I can get aimed, and I can just pop out, quick shoot, uh, and then pop right back before they even know what happens. Now what this enables me to do is get a lot more kills, stay protected, and ultimately give my team a better chance at winning the round. You can also try to use this peak uh, on the filing shelves opposite the window. However, I found that it doesn't work as well because you're not completely protected and you have a soft wall right next to you that they can just bust through if it's not reinforced anyways. Now the fifth and final angle that I wanted to mention is actually in the CEO office and it's something that I haven't really seen done very often but if you play castle you're able to use a shotgun to make this angle and all you have to do is reinforce the walls behind you and then make the holes right about where I do here and if you do that you're able to see anybody coming from almost this entire half of the site uh, which allows your team to have a lot more mobility and maybe seek some enemies out a little more than they would be otherwise. Now I felt like this bonus angle was worth mentioning, but at the same time, it's pretty much thwarted completely by the window peak. Um, but if you notice here, you can actually see quite a bit of ground from the top looking down behind this metal filing cabinet. Uh, so you could potentially turn that into something if you wanted to. However, again, you're leaving yourself almost completely exposed to somebody shooting you from on top the parking garage or from rappelling outside on the window. Well, that is all I have for you. I really hope that these angles help you in your gameplay as far as getting you more kills and keeping you from dying as much as you did before. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, please feel free to leave those down in the comments and I can feature them in a later video. If you haven't seen it already, I posted a video giving an introduction on myself and the channel and also telling you about some pretty awesome giveaways that I'm gonna be doing here pretty soon. Uh, so please go watch that, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much and have a great rest of your day.